Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC18 in Dallas, Texas, and I'm here with Pradeep Dubey. He's an Intel fellow. Pradeep, it's good to see you again, my friend. Nice to see you. Well, great. Well, hey, we're here at this show, and it seems to be all about the convergence of HPC and AI. Why do we need that? Uh, it's simple, because HPC and AI both need lots of compute. So they must converge and somehow together figure out how you get that much compute. Yeah. Okay. Well, what are the challenges in making that so? Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's uh, rather easy because, yes, they do need a lot of compute, but they have their own uh, quote-unquote twist on that compute. HPC is mostly what I call uh, inside-out computing. So it starts with first principles, then it tries to solve those equations with lots of flops, and often the flops are different. They're, for example, they're double precision, right? Uh, um, AI, on the other hand, is outside in. It comes bottom up from lots of observations. Not bottom up, you can call it outside in, yeah. with lots of data, observations. Yeah, like half precision even, or right? Even, even less than that really? sometimes, yeah, right? Yeah. So, so it has huge amount of data and a different form of numerics applied on that data as opposed to complex equations and scientific simulations applied on it, right? So they, they both need a lot of compute, but a little bit different kind of compute. Interestingly though, they complement each other because you have to go inside out and outside in and back and forth to really get to the bottom of it. Okay, okay so they need each other. Right, right. Well, what's Intel doing to make this so? First thing we are doing is, since they both need compute, compute is us, right? So that's, now, since they also have a little bit different requirements on compute, we are trying to converge them, more, more importantly, at the software level, because the software stack must converge before you can impose a hardware convergence, right? And and the workload, as, as we can see, they do have significant convergence. Both need a lot of compute and both need to deal with data increasingly, right? Uh, on the other hand, the software stacks so far have not converged primarily because these two communities have not talked, as you can see, right? And that, them talking to each other is the first step, right? right? right. And which is happening. That's right. the reason okay. why uh, okay. two of us are talking, right? right. right. And once they start talking, uh, the differences will become easier to deal with, right? Because like I said, the big thing that they're both dealing with is this opportunity to benefit from data. Right? And how do you make it easier for programmers who are not HPC programmers uh, or not even typical data scientists, they're scientists or numeric scientists, statisticians, right? MATLAB guys who need supercomputing class performance. So you have to deal with that productivity challenge up front and the two need to deal with it together. And that's what we are doing. We are making it happen, we're making it easier, we're making them talk and making it happen through our software stack and then hardware. That really makes sense because, like, whoever wrote Cafe wasn't thinking about a million processors or yeah, anything, yeah, were they? Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. They were thinking how to benefit from eight accelerator cards and find some cats and dogs. Yeah. But <laughs> the world is so much more than that, right? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, you have to figure out what do you do after, they have, after you found them. That decision-making is the uh, huge monetizing opportunity for compute. It's not uh, the image or speech, per se but it's what do you do with it because machines play near zero role in decision making and that's the huge opportunity expansion the, ta the time expansion opportunity for machines yeah. they let them start making some decisions yeah. right yeah. Um, maybe starting with as simple as turning right or left like car driving which is a hugely difficult decision by the way right, right. right. but uh, with a lot at stake yes <laughs> exactly right. yes. well hey thanks for sharing this it's really exciting to see all Thank this you. and, and what intel's so doing nice to see you. yeah, well, yeah. Thank yes you.